All right. Uh, here's an additional thought on propitiation. I just spoke on uh, propitiation and expiation. That's something uh, important that I wanted to add, sort of an appendix to the previous uh, video. All right. The very description of the mercy seat. Remember the the word which is translated as propitiation in the King James uh, Version in the New Testament twice. It's actually mercy seat in Romans 3.25 and Hebrews 9 5 he, remember he offered him as a mercy seat propitiation because that's where the propitiation occurred took place at the mercy seat now in Exodus 25 we read of the descriptions how all those utensils and uh, all that stuff the ark of the covenant and the table of offerings and everything else and and the light and the the candlestick how those things were to be made and their dimensions and it's interesting that uh, the ark of the covenant was to be made from, out of shit and wood shit and wood and two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof and a cubit and a half the breadth thereof and a cubit and a half the height thereof okay so it's kind of rectangular uh wooden thing now above it uh and of course, there's uh, golden rings and, and and so on, but then thou uh, thou shalt make a mercy seat out of pure gold, okay, above that ark of the covenant, okay, and it was to be made thus: the two cubits and a half shall be the length thereof, and the cubit and a half the breadth thereof. What it means is that the dimensions of the mercy seat, which was made out of pure gold okay which was put on top of the ark of the covenant which was also overlaid with with gold and so forth but uh out of sheet and wood it was to be made so this thing this covering the mercy seed repeated it was commensurate to the dimensions of the ark of the covenant and above that mercy seed that's where the ritual or ceremonial propitiation took place at the day of atonement that's called the mercy seat and rendered as propitiation uh, in, uh, in the New Testament twice in uh, uh, Romans 3.25 and uh, Hebrews 9.5. Okay. So the idea is this. Since this covering, this golden plate uh, in, in dimensions was exactly the same as the Ark of the Covenant. It means that propitiation cannot be universal. Okay? So the since Christ is called a mercy seat, all right? He's our mercy seat, our propitiation. But the dimensions of that covering or mercy seat were the same as the dimensions of the Ark of the Covenant. A. W. Pink actually argues from those dimensions the definite atonement, and it's a very good argument. So it's, it's again in response to the Southern Great uh, Southern uh, Baptist uh, preacher who says the propitiation is for the whole world, the expiation is for those who believe only. But uh, no, propitiation is always particular, and it is of the same extent and scope as the Ark of the Covenant. Isn't this beautiful how those types and shadows communicate spiritual truths to us? All right. Now, what was inside of the Ark of the Covenant? The two tablets of stone were put in there. Uh, the, the, uh, ar the Ark of the, the Testimony was uh, to be kept inside of that Ark. Well, what is the promise of the New Covenant? I will put my laws in their inward parts, and upon their hearts I will write them. So we are, I mean the believers in the New Covenant, are in that, in that ark as it were, collectively and individually. And we have those plays of uh, tablets of stone, I mean the testimony, the, the law of God written upon our hearts, placed inside. And the mercy seed, that covenant of pure gold, has the same dimensions it covers us the propitiation covers all of the believers in whom god has created a new heart and put the, his law into their inward parts
Yeah, this again a beautiful picture and uh, and there and there's a, a beautiful harmony between the ark of the testimony and the mercy seat and again the dimensions are strictly the same so that the propitiation is only for those who are in the ark of the covenant and for no one else all right that's just an additional argument uh in uh in terms of uh particular nature of christ's propitiation all right may god bless you all